The nose is, um, it's, a, it's very intricate anatomy. You always have to be thinking about a series of relationships. You are working around the brain, the carotid artery, the optic nerve. So if you're not experienced and you're not comfortable with it, it could really be a difficult position to be in. And a lot of times, the anatomy is, again, very small. A lot of times you have to um, e not only concentrate and focus 100% on where you are in the, in the surgery, but you have to think, you, you've planned for this surgery before, you've thought about it extensively before you've embarked on it, then you're in there doing it, and not only are you having to focus on what you're doing, but you're having to think really 15 steps ahead of where you are because there, there's a law in physics that says that every action has an equal and opposite reaction, and the nose is exactly like that, like some other areas of the body, but you'll change one series of relationships and suddenly you have a cascade of 15 other relationships that you altered and so you have to go back and, 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 and adjust for that and, and just be able to anticipate. And I think that's one of the hardest things to, to teach residents. So in my position now, um, I work with the uh, education of medical students as well as, as training residents. and. That's one of the hardest things to teach someone is not just focus on the small details of what you're doing at the time, but really be able to 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 you know see how those details carry out and play out you know 15 steps down down the road. So it makes it um, rewarding, it, but it is extremely challenging.